everybody. It's Larry Football for the 7th Annual Vodka Cup Fantasy Football League. Here's my latest blog, and we're going to talk a little bit about the draft we just had. All right, let me put this down. Okay, I got my pad of paper out. Okay, I had some notes that I was taking, you know, for during the draft and everything. You know, there's like names and numbers and stuff that only means stuff to me. But whatever. Anyway, as you know, I do a value-based drafting system. My Breffler Matrix. And, like, for example, here are my quarterbacks that I ranked, and they each have a number value, as you could see. So you could tell which one's better than the other. You know, who's better than whom and by how much. And the way I do that is, for example, this is Aaron Rodgers. I, I'm guesstimating that that's what he's going to do this year. About 4,800 yards, 41 touchdowns, three rushing, nine interceptions, whatever. You do that for everybody and you get a score, okay? Now let's look at the draft. All right, first one. What do we got first? We got Pack for Life, and we can see this is what Pack for Life drafted, and there is the value points for each one. You can see the big 184, that was for his one stud, Ray Rice. As we go down, you got a couple of negatives there on your defense, because you picked linemen, dude. Why, why are you picking Justin Tuck? I mean, he's going to get some sacks, but, you know, come on. The, the linebackers are where it's at, you know. You got Clay Matthews, but there was even better linebackers than him. Anyway, 557. Not bad. Going on. Who's next? Uh, Worms, White Lightning. Okay. Worms, White Lightning had a pretty decent draft. As you can see, he's got a lot of points there in the triple digits. Um, uh, but you got some negatives when you go down to, like, the Jets. Come on. There's a lot of teams that are going to have better defenses than the Jets you could have picked. And Curtis Lofton, dude, that was just a ridiculous pick. But overall, he was better than Kevin, 691, as you can see. I'm going to put this all in, uh, in the league so you can read it. What do we got next? The Camel Toes. All right, Timmy, right? Timmy, of course, you got a stud at quarterback. You got some great running backs, you know, um, but we can see exactly here where the rookies meet the pros. He does not know how to pick defensive people. Uh, B.J. Raji, come on, a lineman, and a bad one at that. Even Justin Tuck was better than that. And the other two guys, I just gave minus hundreds because I don't even know who they are. And I looked on the depth charts, <clears throat> and they're not even starters on their team. You know, starting cornerbacks. Uh, they might even get cut. So they get negative 100. 361 for you, Timmy. You were doing pretty good until your defense. Sorry. Okay. Moving on. Quickly. Who's next? The Junkyard Dogs. All right. Jeffy. All right. He's got a pretty decent team here. As you can see, he's got McCoy. That's his big stud. Rod, Roddy White. He's going to be good. Um, I gave him negative points for Jason Hansen because... You know, there's better kickers out there. Uh, but he obviously didn't draft like Timmy. I mean, he's got some, you know, great linebackers that he took. You know, all with positive points. And his only negative really is the kicker. So if it's just the kicker that you got negative, then who gives a shit? And he's got a good draft. 671. Not bad. Okay. Moving on. The black hole. Is that Joe? Okay, Joe. Well, you got Roethlisberger. Um, he's a not a really good quarterback for fantasy points. And Victor Cruz, you got a stud there and wide receiver. Not bad. Uh, he's got some pretty good points there. Until you get he, the one thing he did was look. He he his very first pick was Rolando McLean, um, which was a linebacker and not even a good one. Your first pick was McLean. All I could say is you're retarded. And, and you get a negative 16. Overall, he finished with 500. So, in all his stupidity, he was better than Timmy. All right. Now, who do we got now? Uh, the team. Okay, I'm going to try to do this without laughing, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. <laughs> okay. Obviously, he's got a stud at quarterback. <laughs> I mean... I guess that's all he's got is quarterbacks. And and uh, wide receiver, you know, Wallace should be all right. You know, that's not bad. Um, Vincent Jackson, all right, he's got it. Then you pick Baldwin. Dude, why are you picking Baldwin? And and those are your running backs. <laughs> Come on. 
Those are running backs. And that's your tight end. For real? Dude. You didn't even draft the defensive team. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, you get 184. <laughs> now, I know we're just having a little fun there, Troy. I know you had some computer problems, but still freaking funny. <laughs> Kinky cunt kickers. Okay. Um, this guy had a pretty decent draft, except you have like a pretty shitty quarterback. But you do have the stud of the draft, Arian Foster, 222. I have him ranked as number one. That's why he has the most points. Okay? He should have went number one. Justin, I don't know how you didn't take him. 570. I gave him, and, and that was with a negative 100 that I gave him at Bishop. So really, Jeremy could have had the, one of the best drafts there if it wasn't for that one pick that screwed him. But, you know, Bishop, I don't think he's even starting on his own team. All right, what do we got now? Desert Demolition. Justin, he went with Aaron Rodgers, who's got 202. As you can see, not bad. Um, he's got some pretty good players here. I, only, I gave him a negative 100 for um, that safety he took, Campbell, because I don't, I don't know him at all. I don't even think he's going to play. And I could be wrong. And Washington and Dansby, all right. But still, with that negative 100, look at his score, 733. Justin, man, you said you weren't even there for the whole time. And that's because you could see, look, you got a lot of value for that tight end you got there, Graham. I ranked him number one tight end. Not Gronk, Graham. Okay? Who's next? Blue Dragons. All right, Blue Dragons. You had a horrible draft, of course. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm just going to skim through there. Nothing really spectacular there. You did get a 1 minus 100 there for taking, I don't know, some no-name defensive guy. Uh, and for the most part, though, it was just, you know, even if you took a regular guy there, you wouldn't have really been doing so good. Okay? And uh, who's next? Oklahoma Moonshiners. Okay, you have a terrible quarterback. That was ridiculous. But you have a pretty good everything else. He's got great wide receivers. I think he's got great running backs. And his tight ends, you know, pretty good. Everything's good. He's even got some quality defensive people there. You know, 578, not bad. Okay, one more. James Gang. Okay, here you go, James. You did pretty good. You do have one negative 100 there, too, for, uh, what was that? Oh, because you didn't even draft a kicker. That's ridiculous, man. 511. And, wait, there was one more. Wait a second, it was -na -na -na, Larry Football. And as you could say, somehow, because I knew my own matrix, I didn't pick anything with negatives. And I have some pretty good names on there, too. And I'm at 813. <gasps> that makes me the best of the draft! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to write this down and put it on the message boards. I got the best draft! 